Welcome to Jack Wagon Garage. Today, the Chevy Cruze is in need for a little TLC. As you can see, engine oil. We're gonna do that. So stay tuned. So for this process, you're going to need a 15 millimeter socket on your little uh, 3 8 ratchet. Of course, a pa uh, oil pan, something to c catch your uh, used oil. Some rags, a good quality Dexos 5W30 oil. I'm going with Valvoline Modern Engine. Use it on my uh, 2012 Impala. Uh, I've been getting this at AutoZone. Might be overkill but uh, I'm not taking any chances. And then, most importantly, for this model, Cruise 2016 to 2019 with the 1.4, I believe it's LE2 is the engine code, you need to purchase an AC Delco. Don't go by what Rock Auto or AutoZone says. You need to get the UPF 64R. Now you can, um, I think it's the uh, PF 64 the dealer will say you can use that. This has a, um, what is it, a stronger drain back valve? It's it's uh, designed for this turbocharged engine. Uh, they say it keeps your oil pressure a little higher. I believe that's what it is. I'll link to the discussion on uh, Cruise Talk. But uh, make sure you get this exact filter. And I will link this in the description. I got this on Amazon. But make sure you get a UPF 64R. And apparently Delco is the only manufacturer that makes this particular filter. So you're either getting this from Amazon or the dealer. I don't believe Rock Auto carries it. So, on delay. So first things first, we're going to crack the cap, get a little ventilation, pull the dipstick out. So... Right on your uh, passenger side of the vehicle. You go under here. And uh, get some illumination here. You'll see there is the cartridge or the um, canister type oil filter. This isn't like the uh, previous generation crews where they had the cartridge filter. This is a classic spin on filter. And your drain plug. Oh, you can see it in the shot, but I'm trying to reach my hand back here. Is, oh, come on. Right here. There she is right there. 15 millimeter socket. Now, as I'm uh, letting this oil drain out, I'm going to show you another little deal. This uh, oil plug has a, a tar, uh, Torx... Uh, inset there and I found it matches up with a uh, T45 bit so that's another way pretty clever Let's say you, you rounded off your the nut there you could always uh, your backup could be put the T45 in there be slick we're getting uh, down to the end there now as you notice, I do not have a Delco filter on that. And this all came to light recently with that uh, UPF 46 filter. Um, the um, cruise forums mentioned this filter. So that's why um, it's always good to do some research on your vehicle before you start working on it. Um, I had stopped taking this to the dealer when we ran out of our free oil changes and believe it or not the filter I pulled off here was a PF46 so I went ahead and got a uh, Wix XP but um, I will link to this discussion in the description and they say it's not detrimental to the engine but uh, I'm telling you, from now on, I'm buying this damn thing from Amazon. 
until uh, Wix starts selling an equivalent. So you know, I like to take this out, clean it up, set it aside. Another thing I do is uh, take my oil filter, write the date and the mileage on it. Car has ten thousand one ninety five. Just kind of so you know when the last time you change the oil. Next time you pull the filter out. Next thing I'll do is uh, now that this filter faces completely up like this, we can fill this full of oil, completely full. Put a little oil around the, the gasket there. See if my shiny chrome dome will stay out of the way here. Let the center fill up. Let her settle down. Take a little of that oil and put it on the gasket right there. This will make for removal next time easier. All right, so I'm trying to point this in from the driver's side. So we can get a good shot of the filter. Alright. Going to get this pan out of the way and put this drain plug back in. She's still dribbling a little bit. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. All right, if the camera picks it up, this is the filter right here. And she's stubborn. All right, I got her loose. So we can get the pan over here. Give her hell. Woo! I always put cardboard under my pan as well. Boom! All right, let me clean up my hand here. Now that that's drained, put that out of the way a little bit. It's dripping a little bit on the floor, on the, I'm sorry, the cardboard. And if the camera's picking this up, I'm wiping off the flange where this goes. Still dribbling a little bit. But I have my filter, new filter right here, ready to go in. A little bit of oil got on there. We'll just wipe that up. Get it decent so I can give it a good quarter inch, or I'm sorry, a quarter rotation here. All right, she is on good. We'll clean up any excess oil there. And now time to fill the engine. Now that we did that, I'm going to get my nice clean funnel. I always put a rag down inside my funnel to keep dust and all that from getting in there. And 4.2 quarts. that funnel up a little bit there's a little stopper right there and 
if you have it all the way in there it'll prevent the oil from going in the engine we're gonna pause here so now we are down to one quart remaining in this five quart jug time to push in the dipstick like we're right on. Let's get that up to the light. Beautiful. So I'm going to throw the cap on, start the engine, and check it again. We're probably going to have to add a little bit more. Okay, ran that till the oil light turned off. And as predicted, we got to add about a quarter of a quarter. Come this one, see. Okay. I suppose four point two five is a four and a quarter. We added four, it would make complete sense. Trying to read this. Difficult on clean oil. <laughs> Ironically, if this was filled with dirty oil, you'd be able to see the level on there. I'll give it one more shot. We are golden. So we're all buttoned up. Next thing to do, aside from closing the hood, we need to reset this sucker. It looks like I need to calibrate the compass. See, I went, I pressed the button on the end that took me to the MPH, then I hit menu again. Now see it says, press check to reset. Man, we let that go down to 3%, that's bad. Don't ever do that. Change it at around 20%. We're never doing that again. Here we go, press that. Are you sure you want to reset? And then scroll up to yes, press the button. Boom, we're back at 100. All right, I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this and found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Where's the thumb? There it is, give me a thumbs up. Check out my other videos. Do me a favor, hit subscribe. I know I'm not a big channel, but uh, trying to help out where I can and have a great day we'll see you in the next one thanks for visiting